What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our new video. Video. I am excited as I try to fix the camera here a little bit. I'm excited to show with you guys my C2E2 hole. Um, hole. Hole. <laughs> so, what I picked up is C2E2. That's what I want to show you guys. Okay. So, C2E2 is a Chicago um, comic and entertainment uh, convention here in Chicago. And this is actually my second time going to it ever. And I was pretty excited to kind of go and end up finding all kinds of really cool stuff. And um, I had a lot of fun just walking around, seeing everybody, seeing everybody in their cosplay, um, checking out a bunch of different things. It was just a lot of fun. So I'm going to just kind of do a preview of like all the stuff that I picked up. Um, and I'm trying to organize it. I have this bag here and I have some stuff that I picked up and the stuff I already had. So let's get started and um, show you a couple of things that I've already posted on my Instagram. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may have not seen them yet. But here we go. The first thing that we, so I, this is like one of the main reasons I went because I totally um, wanted to get these um, figures. And let me line them up here. Let me make sure I have all of them out. All right. So Abominable Toys, they make Chomp. He's a, a figure like a, a Abominable, and they. Um, have created some mini uh, versions of the Abominable in like rainbow colors. So they were uh, available at C2E2 and there are six solid colors and one rainbow color. So I really, really wanted to get the full set. Um, almost missing the rainbow ones because they are limited edition. So I think all the rainbow colors were like um, limited to 400. And I think no, all the all the solid colors limited to 400. And I think the rainbow were limited to 100. Don't quote me on that, but they're some sort of limited. So here's what they look like. I did get every solid color, but I just did not get the rainbow one. Um, so here we go. So we got, and I'll take one out so you guys can see it. So it's like a miniature minifigure of the Abominable, the Chomp. Here we go. So we have yellow. We have purple, we have green, blue, like uh, gold or yellow, kind of, um, and oh, that's orange, and this is kind of a red. So those are all the colors that we were able to get, and like I said, there were seven available. One, The seventh is a rainbow one, and like I said, that was the most limited one, and that's the one we were not able to um, get, unfortunately, but I'm super excited that I got all those minifigures. Um, from what I understand, the ones that they didn't sell at the con are going to go up online for sale on their website, so keep an eye out if you're trying to snag them. They will be there, and hopefully you can get some too. Okay, next. All right, so this is stuff that's not Comic-Con con related. All right, so next we went to the Tokidoki booth. So Tokidoki um, had a exclusive for Chicago and it was the Chicago Unicorno exclusive. And it, um, if you guys know Chicago, we have the big bean downtown. It's huge silver like bean. And they did a all silver um, Unicorno for the Chicago C2E2. So I did pick up one of these. And it's super shiny. You guys can see it in there. I have actually have not even opened this up yet to take it out, but I did pick this up. Um, these, I don't know if they were limited to a certain amount. Um, I didn't see anything that said that, but I know that they were created for the C2E2. Because um, it kind of looked like the Chicago Bean. All right, next, um, I actually picked these up for um, an Insta friend. Um, they wanted a couple of these cherry blossom unicornos. So these aren't for me. These are for um, one of my Instagram friends that I snagged a couple for. All right. 
And Tokidogi gave away these like fans. So I got one of these. It's got all their characters on it. It's very cool. And I did get these. Um, this little sticker pack while I was there. Five character stickers. So there's, if you could see it right behind um, the first sticker, you see that Sriracha one? That's cool. Okay. So we have that. And then, let's see. I picked up a couple of these. Now, I'm not going to snag it, but I'll tell you what it is. So I actually picked up some of these Tiny Ghost blind bags. And these, I opened a bunch of these. This is the second series of the blind bags that they released. So I opened a bunch of the first series. Now, I actually did purchase my very first big tiny ghost figure, and they had some loose ones and they had some blind bags, so I actually bought this little guy. Tiny ghost, can you see him? And the big version of the tiny ghost that I bought is this one. So, I actually, that's why I bought this one, since he was one of the ones that was um, out of the blind bags. And I wanted to have the one to match my big tiny ghost. So I bought a big one. It's probably like this big, I think. All right. And that's in a box over there. Put that in there. And so I got two of the blind bags, which I'm excited to open. We'll open those at a later time. So stay tuned. Let's put some of this stuff back in the bag. All right. Now, I also picked up a bunch of these, which are pretty exciting. I'm going to put... The extras over there. Just, I'm just going to show you one. So um, you probably have seen a lot of people open up some of these Topps Hello Kitty blind bags. Um, so it's trading cards and, and like a little figure. So this is actually, um, and I actually found one of these bags a long time ago at Toys R Us, I think, and I could never find another one. So there was a booth that had a bunch of these and they're Hello Kitty 40th anniversary um, blind bags and it has the trading card fun pack. Trading cards, stickers, um, scene cards, die cut cards, texture cards, and more. So here they are. And these came out a while ago. And like I said, I just stumbled across one of these. Um, I think it was at Toys R Us when it was still open. And they only had one. So I bought a handful of those. So I was excited to see those. I bought a couple of these because... Um, I'm hoping maybe I'll get one that I need. Um, so I bought two of these Cryptkins Series 2 boxes. So it's not like these are hard to find, but you don't find them everywhere. And they were, you know, a decent price. They're $5.99, so I just grabbed the two that they had. Because I'm trying to finish um, my Series 2 of the Cryptkins. So this is a, both are Series 2. All right. Then I bought these blind boxes that were just kind of at a booth and they didn't have um, them out like right in front. They had them in the back and they ended up um, catching my eye and I have never seen these before. They're called Colby Friends and they're like series one it looks like and they're crazy little characters. So there we go. So I actually ended up with five of these. So I'm interested to see what these look like when I'm opening them up. So I got five of these to open. So this is kind of neat because it's a totally um, different kind of blind bag. All right. Then um, I did get a bunch of, um, and I could show, I'll just tell you because you guys will probably know what they are. I did get a bunch of the Funko soda cans. So I have a bunch of those to open. Um, and I think I have, He-Man, um, 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 um. Great Ape, um, 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 um. and some other ones. But um, like I said, those are over there, so I'll grab them later. But in, in those aren't like, you know what those are. Anyway, so I got those. And then I got a bunch of stuff from, well, I'll do this first. Actually, this was a booth that had some, um, like some prints up and some, some, um, different paintings on canvas and I really like these they caught my eye I don't know if I took their card or not and of course they don't put any of their information oh here it is is it in here yes so this is the 
oh my gosh. This place is in my neighborhood. No way. Anyway, so this is it. I'm going to have to look up now. I didn't realize that they were in my neighborhood. That's crazy. So I got this one. I thought this was fantastic because I love Disney villains. And I got this one. And then I also got this one, obviously, because I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought that was a cute one. Zero and Jack. And then you got a free little um, card print. So I picked this one of Stitch and Pua. <laughs> it's kind of cute. So I got that. I'm excited that that was in there. I didn't know that was in there. So I'll come back and look at that later. And then... I always see this stuff on Instagram. I love looking at the pictures that um, this um, artist posts. And I was so excited to see their booth. Like, I totally went a little overboard when I started buying stuff from there. Um, especially since I don't hang up a lot of the prints or stuff that I buy. I want to, but I just don't have a lot of space or whatever. But I love these. So anyway, it's called Jelly Co. Or Jelly Co.? I don't know. Uh, here it is. This is probably a better way to look at it. I'm sure you guys have seen um, their Instagram page. Love their art. So I kind of just went nuts. All right. Because they had a couple different deals. They have, um, and they have a couple different sizes of things. So they had some art that came in this size and some that came in this size. So let me show you what I got. Uh, all right. Here we go. These are so fantastic. Oh, here is Nightmare Before Christmas. Lock, Shock, and Barrel with Oogie Boogie. Yes. We have the Golden Girls. Yes. Gremlins. Amazing. And Hocus Pocus. So those are all fantastic. And then I picked those at that size. And these are pretty amazing too. Um, so here are my other ones that came in this size. So I also got this of... Nightmare for Christmas, Jack and Sally. Oh, the Shining Twins. Wait. Oh, Michael Myers. Oh, wait. Jason. Oh, wait. Freddy. So how cool would it be to put maybe these up somewhere? Like maybe like a four blocker. Like that and that or something. I don't know. Very, very cool. I'm excited about those. So we got those. Then they also um, had these blind figures at their booth. And they actually um, designed one of them and did collabs, I think, for the rest. So I got two of these blind boxes. So we'll see what we get. They kind of want that Yeti looking thing down there at the bottom. Um, but they all are pretty cool and unique. So I actually got two of those from them. And I got this, we'll do in a video. A mystery box. So I'm excited to see what is gonna be in this mystery box. There could be t-shirts, um, stickers, sketches, plush, pins, prints, all kinds of stuff. Each box guaranteed four or more items. Now $20, at least a $40 value. So I got that as well. And I think that might be it. Oh no, I have some other things. You guys probably saw my Instagram. I didn't show them all, I only showed one. These, they are called Furry Bones, and they are absolutely adorable. I posted the one on my Instagram. Um, it's an avocado furry bone. So cool. I actually have um, four other ones that I bought over there, so keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll post pictures of them as well, um, but that kind of like my new thing over there is I love those little furry bones. They're really, really cool. So anyway, that is everything I think now. Um, that I picked up from C2E2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for checking out. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite or if you have questions about anything and you want to get some info because you might be interested in some of that stuff. I can tell you what I have if I have the info. All right, you guys. Thanks for checking out my video. Appreciate it. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, sign up for those alerts and I will be back with a new video soon. You have an amazing evening. What? Later.